Today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to safely remove braids without too much breakage in the hair and how to kind of wash and condition men's hair. You ready? <laughs> I'm dead. And here I am. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial, of course. I gotta like relay my lace and all that stuff like that. Put this wig, <laughs> get it together, but y'all will see a tutorial. By the time this video goes up, my birthday will have already passed. He's so rude. He's so rude. But my birthday would have already passed. So thanks for the birthday wishes ahead of time. All that stuff. Make sure y'all subscribe and all that. The details to everything I use will be listed in the description box below. So of course y'all know I use Ozzy Moist. So I'll be using that to shampoo and condition. And then of course just to take out his hair. Just a comb. Um, that's it. That's it. All right. Okay. <laughs> from the end of the braid as you guys can see his hair texture is kind of already coming to loose to be honest you don't want to apply water or anything like that save oh wait can you see it okay yeah so I like to take a fine tooth comb you can use one that's even smaller than this but this is what I have I hope you guys can see this is what the point looks like nothing too crazy I do have another type of comb you can use as well with the uh, metal tip but to me it's no big deal I'm just gonna use a plastic one and literally slowly go down the braid. You don't want to start from like the top or the middle of the braid, like up in this area, and drag it down because you'll tangle the hair. So you definitely want to just kind of start from the end and slowly take it out. All right, so once you get at the base, so as you guys can see, if it does get a little tangle here at the end, you just want to slowly pull that apart. Once you get to the base, you, it might be a little tangled here because of the buildup, um, just because of how long the braids have been in. So you still want to be gentle and slowly take your comb just to kind of get rid of the fuss there. And this is not really the greatest time to comb this out just because you are going to get shed hair already. So I would rather you kind of wait and if you're going to do it, go ahead and take a wide tooth comb. Start from the ends and kind of comb that out towards the top you can but I really don't recommend it wait until you have conditioner and you're fully um, the hair is fully soaked and wet so you can really make sure that you're not pulling out additional hair so kind of just let the hair go free and keep it moving for those of you that don't want to use the comb you can definitely use your fingers nothing wrong with that you just want to kind of be more natural and you know how y'all be extra like being lazy and not taking the camera over to the sink but you want to make sure that you massage it into the hair really scrub the ends of the hair rub it together make sure you get down into the scalp you're using the your fingertips not your nails I bite my nails but using your nails to touch the scalp and literally on both sides like press like and massage the scalp to lift any dirt And his hair is really dirty, so it's not even lathering up the way that it should. <laughs> ah. 
So you guys will kind of see how the shampoo will do its job. You just really, really want to scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> All right, so now we're about ready to go ahead and pretty much rinse this out. And then I'm going to shampoo it just the same way a second time. And then, of course, we'll be back for the condition. Okay, it soaked out the shampoo. Yeah, you can't really see it. When we came over here, it was soaked with shampoo. Mm -hmm. Now, it's like, dang, where did it go? That's what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, like you just woke up from death. <laughs> All right, so this is a freshly shampooed, really, really dry hair. Just look at the sun on your face. I have, I can't do anything about this right now. It's kind of irritating. But nevertheless, yeah, so the shampoo that we're going to be using is the Ozzy Moist Shampoo. <laughs> what are you looking at? The Ozzy Moist Shampoo. And I'm pretty much just going to completely saturate his hair with it. Look like you're growing dreads over here. And same thing, you want to kind of massage it into the ends, down the shaft of the hair. And his hair is actually really dry, despite looks. It's dry as hell. But this Icy Moist definitely does the job. <laughs> Don't be giving me the look. <laughs> keep talking about my shit. Uh... I ain't gonna keep talking about it. Alright, so you really want to massage this product into the hair. And once you get ready, you go ahead and start from the ends. Take a fine, I'm sorry, a wide tooth comb to detangle the hair. And uh, yeah, you want to put the towel around you so your shirt won't get messed up. So start from the ends. Hold the hair really tight. He is tender headed, unfortunately. So, <laughs> do you going to keep on? What Serge got to say? Serge got to say. So anyway, yeah, so, and you slowly go up the hair shaft as well with the comb. And you guys can already see he has shed hair because, of course, he had his braids in for how long? How long did you have your braids? Mm -hmm. Three weeks. Yeah, so this is about three weeks worth of braids. <laughs> much from his detangle oh whoa like I said the braids were in for about three maybe three and a half weeks and so this is pretty much all the hair that we have which is natural because of course your hair is gonna shed so there is that and now that everything is completely detangled this is a time where you can definitely go back with the conditioner And kind of just really saturate the hair everywhere and just make sure that it's really, really worked in. If you want to do a deep condition from this point, you definitely can. I know some people don't use as much conditioner. I don't understand why. But just really make sure it's massage thing. You good over there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it hurts. What hurts about this? Your hair is detangled. Just make sure it's massaged and you should be able to finger detangle if it is detangled properly. Still getting some little hairs. And the same thing, you want to massage it into the scalp. I'm actually going to be doing either some twists or some braids a little bit later. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. 
this is pretty much his hair looking like a uh, prince i'm always gonna put some type of like leave-in conditioner in here so i have the ozzy moist leave-in conditioner just gonna go ahead and kind of spray that a little bit can you hold your head up dang that shit hurt that's sad it shouldn't hurt showing you how to do um, twists or another set of braids so just comment below any requests that you guys may have and that's it this all folks